Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Clinton and DNC exposed for money laundering. You'll never believe who covered it up. A new lawsuit exposes a scheme by Hillary Clinton and the DNC. It confirms what we've known about them all along, but you'll be shocked to learn who tried to cover it up. Not that long ago, former DNC chairwoman Donna Brazil dropped a bomb of a revelation. She told the world that Hillary Clinton took over the DNC, one year before she was nominated. It was an ugly violation of how the process is supposed to work. It humiliated the many voters who thought their primary votes counted. Obviously, they were fooled. Clinton conspired with the DNC to take over while she was running for the nomination. Bernie Sanders and his supporters were just a joke. He was never supposed to win. It was shocking and terrible, but technically not illegal, since it concerned the inner workings of the Democratic Party. You can add that to the mountain of close calls Hillary's had avoiding prosecution. But it turns out her scheming did, in fact, violate the law. Hillary and the DNC hatched a scheme that would fill her campaign coffers with endless dollars. In fact, this scheme was reported, yet nothing was done. Now, a lawsuit has been filed that aims to bring this corruption to light. Who ignored Clinton's money scheme? Only the Federal Election Commission itself. The Hillary Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee allegedly used state chapters as strawmen to launder as much as $84 million in an effort to circumvent campaign donation limits, and the Federal Election Commission ignored complaints exposing the practice, a lawsuit filed Monday claims. The Committee to Defend the President CDP, a political action committee formerly known as Stop Hillary PAC, filed its complaint with the FEC in December 2017 with the claims that the Hillary Victory Fund HVF, solicited cash from big-name donors, and allegedly sent that money through state chapters and back to the DNC before ending up with the Clinton campaign. Source, Fox News There are limits to how much a person or group can donate to a campaign, and it's for good reason. A politician is not supposed to be indebted to a donor. That could lead to obvious conflicts of interest when in office. This is a joke, I know, since most of our elected officials kowtow to big donors. But still, laws are in place to limit that kind of corruption. Hillary and the DNC found a clever way to get around that. The money would be filtered through smaller chapters of the party. It would appear that the money was going to other campaigns for other candidates. It was then sent back to the DNC, where it would, conveniently, end up in Hillary's hands. She got all the money. The rest of her party was left in the dust. What's even more shocking is that CDP alerted this scheme to the FEC months ago. Yet nothing happened. The FEC is responsible for investigating this very kind of fraud. All this time has passed, and there is no word that even an investigation has opened. The Political Action Committee claims that even though the FEC acknowledged receipt of the complaint and claimed that an investigation would be conducted, the needle has barely moved. The Clinton machine has escaped accountability for its illegal practices for far too long, Ted Harvey, CDP chairman, said to Fox News. After months of review, the FEC has refused to address the Clinton's $84 million money laundering scheme that violated several campaign finance laws. On Monday, the CDP filed a lawsuit against the FEC with the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia. They claim that the commission failed to act, calling the inaction arbitrary, capricious, contrary to law, and an abuse of discretion. Source, Fox News Hey, remember how President Donald Trump's lawyer's office was raided by the FBI over nothing? Remember how we've had to put up with a bogus special investigation by Robert Mueller targeting the president, based on a debunked and fake dossier? How much American tax dollars have been spent on needless attacks on the president, based on nothing but liberal hearsay? And how many times have we learned about corruption from Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and cabinet members from his administration? The DOJ and FBI perverted justice under his watch to help Clinton. And yet there have been zero investigations aimed at these crooks. Now. We have real evidence to suggest Clinton was laundering money. The FEC does nothing. Kind of makes you angry, doesn't it? Scratch that, it should make you furious. How are we expected to take our government seriously when they behave this way? Once again liberals show they can get away with all kinds of crimes. Hillary Clinton can use illegal email servers, employ sex predators, defend rapists, and steal money. Nothing happens. The media invents stories about President Donald Trump and all kinds of investigations are launched. Where is the justice in that? Perhaps we need a greater change in our government before anything happens. The midterms are coming up. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. 
Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.